Hey everybody, welcome back to the Indecisive Collector. My name is Nancy and today I am going to be giving you all a review slash recommendation of a book that I really love called The Lovecraft Necronomicon Primer, A Guide to Cthulhu Mythos. And this is by T. Allen Bilstead. Or Bilstead? <laughs> okay, so I absolutely adore this book. I got it a couple of years ago actually. As you can see, the pages aren't too great looking anymore. They're a little worn and the reason for that is it's kind of a small pocket book. So I used to carry it around everywhere when I was younger, especially in college. I used to love carrying this around for ideas. And what this is, it is basically a small encyclopedia of H.P. Lovecraft monsters. If you don't know who H.P. Lovecraft is, he is a writer who was born in 1890 and he wrote stories such as Cthulhu, uh, The Mountains of Madness, The Dunwich Horror, uh, The Color Out of Space. He did a lot of short stories and when I say Cthulhu I mean The Call of Cthulhu, that's the full title, but almost everyone knows who Cthulhu is if you don't know who that is. Then I definitely recommend that you look him up or you could buy this Necronom Primer, Necronomicon, <laughs> excuse me. Um, I really enjoyed this a lot. It talks about almost every creature in Lovecraftian lore, and even the forward is really interesting, and to be honest, a lot of forwards kind of, they don't sit too well with me. I'm, I'm a lazy reader, because I don't like the forwards too often, <laughs> but with this book, the person who wrote this makes it seem so real and creepy and he talks about it as if it's true. He also indicates that this book has no spoilers or it does not reveal any plot lines. It basically just is like an encyclopedia of creatures and gods that have come through by uh, H.P. Lovecraft. And trust me, just because this book is basically a catalog of these monsters and beings, it's not boring at all whatsoever because it does talk about them as if they were real and true and if they were actual frightening things that existed in our world. So when you read this, you really do get the sense of fear and horror, which I think is great because Lovecraft is all about insanity and horror, and I feel like this really does do Lovecraft justice. This is a great book. I recommend it to anyone who loves anything occult or creepy, scary, weird, just plain odd. I definitely think you would absolutely like this if you want to check it out. It's not too expensive either. It's $11.95 in the US and $13.95 in Canada, and it has about 259 pages of content. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you check out this book, please let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you think about it. Thanks for watching, guys. I can't wait to talk to you guys later. Bye!